Seen this another damn life in the kitchen. You at Beat Camp Productions. This motherfucking elbow keys, man. We trying to goddamn show y'all what it take to motherfucking make this shit run. We do the banging and the booming in the streets. Y'all already know how we get down. Man, this bitch with my nigga Grade A. Finna show y'all the likes and the life of the fabulous elbow keys. <laughs> I'm just fucking Don't put that shit on I've been working on music since 1995, just really pursuing it, um, but professionally, I think I started like in 2001, you know, got some, finally got some equipment, you know what I'm saying, we've been putting it down ever since, I got started basically, listening to the radio, you know what I'm saying, taking tapes, putting them, you know, taking stuff I recorded off of the radio, and just start putting it together like a DJ. So I had actually started wanting to be a DJ, but that didn't, that didn't turn out the way I looked at it. Like, man, DJs don't make as much money as producers. So, you know, what really got me started, man, was Easy e just listening to his beats. Now, when that gangster music came out, it was a sound I never heard before. And that really just put my, my mind on, you know, I, I'd rather be a producer than a DJ. So, I mean, I, I say Easy e Got me started and doing beats and putting an 808 on it. Well, I ain't a typical Montgomery producer, so I really can't answer that question. But I mean, like I said, Dr. Fingers really summed it up when he said gumbo. We make straight gumbo. We take East Coast, well, at least I do. I know Grade A do. Uh, Dr. Fingers do. I take East Coast, Dirty South. Um, Got to put that West Coast in there for, like I said, you know what I'm saying, Easy and Dr. Dre. So, I mean, it's straight gumbo, man. You know, we put it together, put it in the pot, let it simmer, and come out with straight heat. Everybody say bring everybody together and be unified. But I'm really focusing on ma making major moves. If everybody with us, they with us. But if they ain't, then they gonna want to be with us because I'm trying to get into production deals, uh, distribution, I'm trying to make my company, which is already branded in the streets, I'm trying to make my company more universal where we can help everybody who need help as far as they need ASCAP, they need graphics, they need basically the look, the sound, and the hype. We can provide all that. I'm trying to basically be that hub where the labels come down and they picking folks from here. I'm straight, I'm, I'm, I'm the next thing to the majors. That's what I want to be within this upcoming year. Is the, is the majors for the city. Man, that's a crazy question. Like, oh. Mineral artists. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, I, ain't, I mean, everybody who I work with must must got some about them that I like, so some that I see that we can capitalize on for. If I can't capitalize off of it, if I don't see you really capitalizing off of it, then it really ain't going to make a point for us to do it. So it's like, I can't say no. Every artist I, I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, week to week basis, has has the potential. So I can name a whole list, larger list of people. So i leave that nameless. Came on B camp was uh, I actually was at the House of Hits. That's what we called. We had a house on the north side, and you know they ranched it on the north. So shit, we had the one that boarded up. It was House of Hits. We was making hits in the house, I guess. But the B camp kind of came from we were just bullshitting around. You know, I, uh, we was listening to um, what's the name of that group? Um, had Polo the Dunn. I forgot the name of the damn group. It's one of my favorite groups to uh, Jim Crow. Listen to Jim Crow and they had a song called One Time at Band Camp. And we just really trying to come up with a name. I had another click that I was rolling with at the time and we were like, you know, Band Camp, Beat Camp. We was like, damn, Beat Camp. Shit, that work. I mean, it was simple as that. Because we were a camp full of niggas that basically do artist development. We basically for five years straight we, we did artist development on ourselves and people who came through. So 
we kind of formed our own type of unit. And we always, you know, they call it beat camp because of the bang, the 808. I stole from Dr. Fingers in grade A. <laughs> Yeah, we worked out of the Commodore studio uh, like 2001, 2003. I mean, man, that was the best experience of my life. I mean, we had real to real tapes. We had uh, a performance area, staging area, mirrors to the ceiling, chandelier. We had everything when we first entered this as a business. And I mean, that was like a blessing, man. Lana Richard, I mean, Shaggy Dog, they got every person in the Commodore, memorabilia, we had gold, platinum plaques. I mean, it was just like we, we was in the majors, and we really was just starting. I took like 30000 and put on some equipment, and they didn't know how to work none of it. But it actually bloomed and blossomed into something that I never could imagine. So, I mean, working out of that studio, man, this was a blessing. So it gave me an insight on what I need to do for the future to kind of get my stuff tight where we won't have to worry about any type of uh, falling out or any type of business problem that you run into in this business. On uh, the upcoming projects I'm working on, I got Black Kaiser So Say. We dropping that motherfucking profit driven. We got banging tracks on there, grade A producing tracks. My nigga Prime tracks, you know the critically acclaimed Elbow Keys on that bitch. I got my nigga Dirt dropping Midnight Thuggin. That shit colder than the motherfucker. Straight for the hood. We got OG. Fuck OG. I don't know what the fuck OG dropping. He got like a million songs at the studio. But man, I make Alabama look good. We got Henny dropping the dog and hard to swallow. You got me dropping the motherfucking haters and bitches. If you want to get on that motherfucker, hit me up. I've been telling niggas to jump at it, but they don't want to fuck with me because the beat's too hot. I guess they can't keep up with the heat. But. And we got a whole lot of projects. We got my nigga, my motherfucking nigga Ziploc Mo dropping the transporter. The nigga going wildin' on that bitch. Y'all check out all the fucking things to come from Beat Camp Production because it's all heat. You already know it. We in the kitchen. We cooking. Them haters so wrong. Whoever came for turkey day. We live, you know, it's, we got block wheels on the wagon, but you know what I'm saying? We still rolling, trying to. Move past all these niggas on this side, going against niggas on this side, niggas in Birmingham don't fuck with niggas in Mobile. Basically, I'm just trying to kill all that, you know. I'm trying to basically migrate from the bottom to the top, from the top to the bottom, sideways. Give everybody some of this, this love we got down here, man. Hopefully we can move on to deals and more deals and production deals and movie deals, whatever to come, man. Alabama is it's the pot. It's, it's the guinea pig state. And not in a negative way. We kind of put everybody else where they need to be, but we kind of slacking on supporting our own music. We get that out the way, man, we're going to be on top. I shout out niggas who fuck with me. So, you know what I'm saying? I, the whole beat count. You know what I'm saying? From Cry 9 to Fourth and 20, shit to motherfucking Hard Money. Man, everybody who fuck with me, shout out the motherfucking, the whole city, man. Y'all know who y'all is. They come down here every week. They spend money with us. They kick it with us, smoke with us, drink with us. Y'all know who y'all is. You know, we keep it real. So I ain't got to name no names. I got a list of niggas I fuck with. Fuck you paid me. That's my last word. It's time to get money. It's 09, man. All that bullshit is over with. We got an organization that everybody know we fucking legit, man. We get our grind on, so shit, come down here and fuck with it, man. Spend some money with us, spend some time with it. It ain't got to be about the money. It's about making good music, man, and showing that you can take this shit to a whole nother level. We try to get it. It's greed and money for life, so that ain't mean that we ain't trying to get nothing out. That mean we, we confident and we more so in tune to what we need to be spending our money on rather than just blowing it on these motherfucking... DJs that ain't gonna play our shit or blowing it on radio that you ain't gonna never hear. I mean, you basically got an organization that's really focused on taking this shit to the next level. I'm on top, I'm trying to stay there. My name for Shouts out to Grade they for goddamn coming in. And I'm, I'm, I'm part of the motherfucking future, been part of the past. We're gonna take this shit on a whole nother level. I'm done.